Hello guys and welcome here to the Lyft National Series. This is a midweek showcase for them. It's Tuesday night and we are here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I am Brian James here in the booth with you. And starting on the pole today will be Giorgio Stumu in that number six. To his outside will be Gene Sanfer. Of course, many looking to add to what they did at Daytona while others are looking to improve. We had a double points race in which Daniel Gittero started last and he came back to win the race at Daytona and of course that was on Saturday. It's a short week for the Lyft National Series drivers because of course we have the Saturday race, we are here Tuesday beginning the West Coast Swing. We will head to Phoenix for an early race on Saturday. And of course that'll be uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, or not 9 a.m. Eastern, that'll be 9 a.m. on the West Coast. So a very early race for these guys. And we will have to see what they do there. But all attention is here now at Las Vegas. As we will be right back in just a moment with your starting lineup. But first, let's roll the intro here on GCN. You are watching the Gaming Collaboration Network, home of the Jello Cup series. And I believe this time, the 43 Tim Randolph will win at Daytona. The Lyft National Series. Here we go. They make their way through turn three and four. The pace car will peel off. And for the first time ever, the Lyft National Series is green. Here at Daytona. The Hitachi Truck Series. And here we go. The pace truck is gonna peel off. And for the first time ever in GCN history, we have a truck series and we are underway under the lights here at Daytona. And Tuesday Night Heat. Your GCN presentation starts right now. Welcome back. The starting lineup is on the left hand side of your screen. And as you see, it was Chevy dominance at the front. The top six positions are all held by Chevy entering this race. Of course, last weekend was supposed to be a Chevy-dominated weekend. As you know, um, all Chevys advanced to the Daytona 500 that were in knockout qualifying. They ran pretty well early, but got beat by a Ford. And we'll see if they can make up for it here on the lift side of things today as Giorgio Stumu and Gene Sanford lead us to the green. We're underway at Las Vegas. Dumu will take the lead and lead the opening lap here at Vegas. One thing to keep in mind again, after this we head to Phoenix. Then these guys, I believe, get an off week. Or no, wait, I believe after that we go to Auto Club. 
And then we get an off week, which will be at Sonoma. But let me double check, or yeah, let me double check that we definitely don't go to Sonoma in this series. Let's see there. He's the six is under pressure. There's the 92 of Alex Tanker. He was quick at Daytona. Thought he might have had a shot to win the race, and unfortunately it didn't pan out that way. So yeah, we go to Phoenix on Saturday. That'll be a 12 p.m. Eastern race. Then the following Saturday we have a race at, at a Auto Club. That'll be at 3.30 Eastern. Then after that, the Lyft drivers get a bye week. So that is something they get to look forward to. We have a battle for second on our hands. And it's more turned into a battle for third as Dylan Young is battling to that outside in that number 11 Chevy. Right now that number 6 of Giorgio Stumu has checked out. So far midweeks are being pretty kind to him. Let's check in on our Saturday winner. I was about to say last week, but of course we're running a midweek here. Our most recent winner, Daniel Gittero, again starting at the back, and he is in 32nd right now. Not a good position for that 54. Maybe pit stops will help them out. It's hard to believe that six has checked out as much as he has. And one thing about Las Vegas is pit stops are chaotic. Could we see another chaotic round of pit stops here? And how many will they have to make? That's going to be the question. We know the cup race will be 41 laps tomorrow around here. Excuse me. Yeah, we know the cup race will be 11 laps longer, so will these guys only have to make one stop is going to be the question. Also upcoming on our schedule, the truck series, the next race after the cup race tomorrow here on GCN will be the Hitachi Truck Series and they will take on the Nashville Fairgrounds. That should be a very interesting race as we've only seen that on the Carvana wildcard side. And we'll see how 36 trucks take to that track. A lot of vintage tracks coming up here on both on all three schedules. As, of course, we mentioned, Fairgrounds will be the next race for the trucks. Um, I believe they've also got Rockingham on the schedule. The trucks are also going to three tracks they've never, or they haven't seen in 20 years. We've got Sonoma for the trucks. We've got Watkins Glen, and we've got Walt Disney all on the truck schedule. Of course, we got North Wilkesboro on the lift schedule. And then, of course, Rockingham will be on all three schedules, which should make for a very interesting weekend. And the battle for the lead is heating up. Alex Tanker really taking it to Giorgio Stumu. And Stumu, of course, he missed the Daytona 500 last race, so he really only ran this race here, or this series race at Daytona. And he's going to hope that he makes the show for tomorrow's race, and if he doesn't, well, this will be his big chance to shine here at Vegas.
I just wonder one thing, whose face is on the side of that car? Because I love it, it kind of follows you wherever you go. <laughs> Okay, we are closing in very shortly on the halfway point. And Giorgio Stumu is also very close to that playoff point. And now we see the cars slowing down, they're going to make pit stops. And the big question will be, can these guys make it to the end of the race? Oh, the 20 made a last second decision, but the 16 will stay out, so Jeff Scott will take the race lead. Also staying out, Nathan Faden, and keep in mind, that 8 team, they crashed out at the end of last race. Didn't even see the finish, because they had too much damage to be able to compete in overtime. So they are going to hope to have a better result. Maybe running a lap in clean air will help them. And they will do everything they can to come out around the same time as the 16 and hopefully gain a few spots out of it. And these guys might be closer to making it to the finish than the guys who just pitted the lap before. And you see it's going to be right sides on the 16. And they'll go around, they'll change four. Question is, yes he did. Stumu won the race off the pit lane. Can the 16 and the 8 beat him around? They should gain at least a handful of spots by staying out a lap later, but they won't beat the 6 or the 92 out. We're going to go through the field, lift national style, in just a moment. But you see, the battle for the lead is just a duel at this point between Tanker and Stumu. Problem is Stumu is in that dirt, or rather Tanker is in that dirty air. He really can't make a move the longer he's stuck back there. I mean, the draft on the straightaways helps, but once you get to the turn, I mean, you're dealing with bad air turbulence there, and it really doesn't help you with regards to steering the car and just being able to keep, you know. That's why they say catching is one thing, passing is another. And he just really needs to get a good run off the corner. And ultimately, he just needs to watch what the 6 is doing and see if he can beat him at his own game. Anyway, we're past the halfway mark. Let's go through the field. It is Giorgio Stumu leading here at Las Vegas. In second is Alex Tanker, but he is right in the shadows of that number 6. Steven Buchholz is in third, the teammate to Giorgio Stumo. A good run going for JD Motorsports so far. Leroy Davis is in fourth, a good run for the Joe Gibbs team, and the highest running Toyota at this point. In fifth is Dylan Ibrahimian, who is Alex Tanker's teammate. So the small team's really having a say here, and of course they are, because in sixth is Frodemar Otz of BJ McLeod Motorsports. In 7th is Jean Sanfer, who started in 2nd. She's dropped a few spots. That's never fun, as she is now looking to gain a few back. In 8th is Dave James in that 65 Western New York Auto Sport Chevrolet. Ninth is Nick Smith. And in 10th is Trevor Collins so far. Behind him, though, it's a battle between teammates. The 11 of Dylan Young and the 10 of DJ Brady. They are battling it out for that 11th spot, and it looks like Dylan Young is going to take it. In 13th is Muhammad Zain Abdullah, and he will be in tomorrow's race, along with Dylan Young. Both of them pulling double duty this week. 
and hoping to have a good a good start to their midweek here. Jeff Scott, he went up to 14th after that cycle stop, so it paid off for him slightly. In 15th is Tyler Faden in that number 39. In 16th is Buffold Sacco. 17th is Scott Upton. 18th is Max Anderson, who we saw running up front earlier, but it looks like he's kind of dropped back a few. 19th is Bobby 2 Davis. And in 20th right now is Alexander Rowe, the defending cup champ, running about mid-pack. Not a good start for them. Up front, as that was through the field lift style, we got nine laps to go, and Giorgio Stumu has checked out. I think uh, Tanker might have used up his stuff. We mentioned that turbulence. The good news is I think maybe he might have been able to save a little bit of fuel behind the number six. Is that a possibility? Because keep in mind, we mentioned so much at Daytona and Talladega. If you are the second car, if you are not the lead car, you're going to be saving a lot of fuel. Is that a possibility here? And that's going to be the question, because Giorgio Stumu might not be able to make it. None of these guys will. I think Jeff Scott and the number 8 of Nathan Faden, those two, of course, pitted a lap later. Maybe they're on a one-stop strategy. But we know these guys might have to come back to the pit lane. Um, and that'll, of course, be the question of when, if and when. Of course, we get a caution, it really throws a wrench at everyone's plans. And keep in mind, as we get to the later stages, there is no overtime in this race either, so if a caution comes out, the race is over. And of course, none of these guys want to see that happen. Six laps to go. This was about this was about the fuel window last time for the leaders. Could this be the fuel window this time for the leaders? It won't be this lap. We got five laps to go. Tanker is closing. Could he have been saving up his stuff even? And there you have it. The six doesn't have enough to make it to the finish. Alex Tanker to the lead. As we got four laps of racing to go. And now we really got the question. Who can make it to the end? We know the six couldn't. The good news is Stumu will pick up the playoff point. And the 92 is out. The rest of these guys are going to pit too. The 16 will stay out, as will the 8 once again, as we come to three laps to go. Does Jeff Scott have enough fuel? Because if he has enough fuel, he can make it to the finish. Obviously, he'll make it to the finish. And no, he doesn't. He's slow. That's a shame. So now the question will be, who comes out in front? Will it be Alex Tanker or Giorgio Stumu? Let's see where Tanker is. There's Stumu, and there's Tanker merging. I don't think it's going to be enough. No, 
The six will come out in front. Could have been a splash and go for the 16. Either way, they won't beat the six around. Two laps to go, and Giorgio Stumu reclaims the race lead. Complete dominance, and we thought that tanker would have a shot. And we thought maybe Jeff Scott could make it on fuel, but it didn't look like that was the case. White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Mitchell's Memes. We mentioned the heartbreak for Giorgio Stumu. He failed to make the Daytona 500. He wasn't much of a factor in the NASCAR Racing Experience 300 last race. But it all doesn't matter. He will be a factor today. Giorgio Stumu, he'll pick up his first career lift win at Las Vegas. Congratulations to Giorgio Stumu. Again, it's always a tough start when you miss the Daytona 500. But he, I would say he rebounded pretty nicely. But of course, now the attention for him will be on can he make this race tomorrow? That's going to be the big question. And we'll find out in less than 24 hours if he'll be racing at Daytona. Or Las Vegas, rather. <laughs> anyway, we want to thank you for watching. We're going to show you results and standings, and we'll be, and we'll, we will see you back here at 12 p.m. Eastern on Saturday for a Lit National Race from Phoenix. Until then, goodbye, everyone.